So video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the twirl filter. Some techniques for the twirl filter. Now, filters and distort and twirl. So now, first thing you do, just drag it over. It always sticks it over in the corner, sticks it in the corner, so uh, it's uh, tucked away. You'll notice the default is zero, so obviously just give it some value and a radius, and straight away you can see now the twirl. So that's applied. And there is not just that, you can actually modify the center point, which is quite nice, or the focal point, origin point of the effect. So you can drag that around until you're happy with that. And you can click apply. Now with all these filters, you can actually apply it once, you can apply it three, four, five, hundred times to create a whole range of different effects. So what you can do, just go to filters and distort and twirl. And again, it goes back to zero and you can drag that and you can see the effect there and you can drag that and drag that around and you can apply it again apply it over there or over here click apply and again you can apply it a third or fourth or fifth time now what you can also do you can actually if you want to use blending modes with this filter effect now you can do it with live layers but you can also do it with just duplicating this design so if you say go to layer and duplicate and you've got so you've got two there what you can do then is go to filters and distort and twirl and again it's down there set the radius and i'm just going to drag that around but you can also go over here and you can actually modify say that difference so you can see and then of course it's live as well so you can create a whole range now it'd be nice if you could animate this and actually store this but anyway a lovely colorful design now click apply and of course that's it you can actually go and add another filter. You can go to there and add more or merge that down. So merge down and then use that with distort and twirl. So again, just go there and there, and then you can distort that to create some interesting sort of designs very quickly using that. Now, I mentioned live layers. That's the next thing. So live layers, I'm just gonna quickly go back to that original and you can go to a layer and new filter live layer and twirl filter now the good thing about this it's got blending modes or blend mode as it calls it here blending modes so darken but again until you change the angle i not make any difference so you can just go like that and you can also modify the opacity and you can still modify the center point so you can drag that over there and then go Difference again down to difference and move that around until you're happy with the, the twirl design that you want and then just clear that. And of course you can apply multiple ones. So you can go to layer and again twirl. It's in the middle there, so you just find it. It's not out in alphabetical order, unfortunately, which would be nicer but in some ways. But anyway, there's the effect. Or maybe it could change depending on the order of how many times you use it. But it doesn't, so it's just got a a list like that and again you can use that as difference to modify that or other ones as well okay now I've done all that what I want to do next is show you you can also use it with channels that's quite useful by making some interesting color designs as well with the twirl filter so just go to filters and distort and twirl and so you can apply it there and that's still being put in RGB but now if I go to here and I'm going to go to ooh, a few seconds to do that. Composite red, filters, distort, and twirl. And again, you can go the other way. It doesn't have to be positive. Always do positive first, but you can always go the other way as well. Drag that over there. And this is for the red channel. So apply. And then go to the green. And you can use different settings. So, or you could use the repeat. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to distort and twirl. Go there and there and put it over there just to show you the difference now apply and now I'm just going to go back so you've got this multi twirled with the color there as well now what you can also do I'm just going to go back to which one is it merge down there is you can also use selections that's another thing you can do there's of course other things but selections another thing so you just go to an area that you want to select and then filters and distort twirl of course, you can use other things like layers, with adjustment layers to recolor things, but can't do it, show everything in the video. So, 
go through that and you can move that around you can see it doesn't go outside there so it just stops at that point so but you can of course go out there and you can still see the effect as you go the radius you large enough but I'm just going to move that around click apply and of course once you've done that you can select another area and then repeat twirl or go back to the filters and distort twirl change the angle because it won't have an effect otherwise and just twirl that around to create another effect click apply now another thing you can do and I'm just going to put it all the way back again merge down is going to select an area and I'm going to control C, control V. So I've got a, you can see now I've got a layer. And what you can do now, I'm going to get rid of selection and filters, distort, and twirl. So the twirl effect is now applied just to that layer. So again, there, you can see it rotate around and you can see the effect there. Okay, apply. And now that's effect, it's been applied to that background layer there. But what you can do then, of course, Alt hold it down there and you can alt option key or whatever depending on your system and you can then drag that around and create a whole range of it and of course using blending modes you've still got the option there for if you wanted to do that hold that down there to create some very interesting sort of sort of scroll like effects using the twirl filter now gonna flatten at that point and merge down there is also the option to use down on that so there's the twirl brush twirl tool now exactly the same as the now that may be or maybe not in your uh, toolbar or tools uh, depends if you've actually customized the tool so you can customize the tool and add the twirl there uh, it's just a quick and simple way of just getting to the filter which is, is quite a nice option so you can apply it very quickly like that and just then apply right hope you found this tutorial of interest Thank you much.